Hey, music makers out there. Uh, this video is about the Personas Audio Box USB 96. Um, when I first purchased this about a year, year and a half ago, uh, I started, well, it hasn't been that long, probably a year ago, and it took me a while to start using it. Uh, but anyway, I was getting a white noise, like a hissing tss, you know, in my recording, and I couldn't figure out why. You know, I swapped out the cables, I swapped out the USB cables, swapped mic cables, swapped mics. Could not figure out what it was, and um, so I was pulling my hair out. And then uh, I asked my buddy, who also does recording, to... I said, hey, you have any ideas? And he says, well, I have an older audio box unit you can borrow. And so he came over with this. We plugged it in. Right away, the noise was gone. And I'm like, what is going on with this? Do I have the wrong input levels? Um, and keep in mind over here, I tried using gates, compressors, you know, all that stuff to you know in the program to eliminate that and all that did was just really ruin the recording uh, my wife and I we do a podcast called parenting autism you can probably hear the hiss noise in the first few episodes of that so it was very frustrating to have this podcast started and my box not working correctly so we got to messing around with everything we're like well I've got all my equipment plugged into this it must be something to do with the box and lo and behold uh, it was when I hit the 48 volt button for the condenser mic that the noise started and I didn't realize that that was the trigger because when I record I don't have my speakers on I just use the input levels uh, on the screen and I may have used headphones or whatever but I have got studio monitors that that I don't normally use when I'm recording so whenever I hit that button I didn't know it was happening except when I played it back through the speakers I'm like where is this hissing coming from so uh, we turned up the uh, input and from fooling around with it we finally narrowed it down to the button and I sent this back to Personas early on one time before I knew it was the button and said hey this is happening when when I'm recording with a condenser mic uh, what's going on so they replaced something and sent it back to me and it still wasn't fixed uh, so I kept using my buddy's uh, USB here and um, so I sent it back again I did a YouTube video for them showing the hissing noise and it's just like a tss, you know white noise in the background and it's it's your noise floor it's like minus 40 minus 60 db and it's just always there when this button is on so after like three or four you know i sent it back three or four times at least after the initial time and the initial time they charged me for shipping or i had to pay for shipping to them and after that i was like look this is your issue I would like you to provide me shipping labels because that shouldn't be my expense and they were very gracious and they did that for me uh, but I'm telling you each turnaround time was about three weeks to get this thing back and it not work again so I finally wrote a letter uh, to the guy in charge there in the repair department and said look uh, this is the fourth or fifth time back and I need this resolved. I'm doing a podcast and I just simply don't have the time to plug this thing in, do another test round, it not work, you know, and I'm my buddy wants his box back. And um, so finally, this last time, they replaced the box entirely. Um, and in previous attempts, they always replaced a component inside, but it never fixed the problem. So they sent me a new box. I tested it this morning. It works great. So if you're using a condenser microphone and you're getting a white noise or a hiss noise in your recordings, uh, to keep in mind that it might be something to do with that button and you might have a faulty box. Um, so 
If you have any questions, comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you if you like the videos that I'm doing. But I'm very confident that this new box is going to work for me, and I'm I'm very happy at this point. I had to deregister the other one and re and register this new one because it has a new serial number, but it was pretty cut and dry. Um, and so I hope this helps somebody out there. And you guys have a great day.